Greetings, Great Witch here. So I bought the facility for the Doomsday Heist so I could do the heist, which kind of bummed me out because I thought I already had a room in my apartment to be able to do heist. But apparently, you can't use that one to do these. So I spent $1.2 million, bought the cheapest one that I could, no bells and whistles, and this is pretty much what I got. And I'm really kind of bummed about it because if we had to buy this facility, why didn't we have to buy a hangar, a bunker, and all these other facilities when this one could have been just that? It really kind of pisses me off that every time we get something new, we have to buy a job. And I, I just miss the old days when we got DLCs where we just got stuff and had fun, played the game. Now we have to have a full-time job to play the game so you can buy stuff in the game. It's like a cocaine app. It's crazy. But anyway, I digress. There's the heists are decent. They're broke up. You got three preps that have to be done in public lobbies. They're pretty easy. You can do them solo. Actually, I did all three of mine solo. Then there's three mission type setups that you actually get paid for. Not very much, depending on how you set it up, whether easy or difficult but those those are actually kind of cool too but the heist is kind of weak especially the first one we'll get into that in a little bit so your first setup mission your prep don't get paid for it it's in a public lobby so you have to deal with everybody else around you you have to steal an ambulance it's pretty simple it's actually extremely easy uh, basically you just drive to the spot in the map where the ambulance is, there's like two cops, steal the ambulance, and then drive it all the way back to your facility. And because I've got the cheap one, it is all the way on the other side of the map. So it's a long drive across the public lobby, got people chasing you, good luck. That's all I can say. Because I got two of these destroyed before I finally got one of them back to my facility because of people in jets. So when you do finally get one back, Pretty simple you take it in this is for the first part of your paid missions that you're gonna need which is kind of weird I don't understand you have to get the stuff for your prep mission it's weird but anyway second prep mission you have to drive or fly out to a house out in the middle of the city kill a bunch of guards steal a key and then you have to steal four DeLoreans well, they're not DeLoreans in the game, but everyone knows they're DeLoreans. And once you go inside this garage, be careful because there's more people inside the building that have guns. The only time in the game this has ever happened is right now. So as soon as you go inside the garage, you have to be careful because there's people shooting at you. And you have to be careful because in that back left corner, there's a tank that'll explode. So if you shoot that, it'll blow up the car. Boom. One car is destroyed. So now that you've collected the car, now you have to take it to the LS Customs, any one of them apparently, it doesn't matter which one, repaint it before you can deliver it to your facility. So this is just some extra way for them to get a little bit more money out of you. At least the paint's free, but the repairs you have to pay for. So after you get your repaint done, then you can drive it all the way out to your facility and deliver it. I actually tried to use the cargo bob a couple times to pick them up and deliver them out there. It's much faster just driving them. So just drive it, it's much easier. And use the railroad tracks if you need to because there's a couple of places where you can use the railroad tracks where nobody can get you. Perfect way to get from point A to point B. But then you just deliver four of those to your facility and you have that prep done, which you didn't get paid for. And that took about 20 minutes easily 20 30 minutes just to deliver those cars now your final public lobby prep is you have to go to Fort Zancudo and steal some data this one is extremely easy just drive right on in you've got a pass for 10 minutes so nobody's gonna shoot at you or anything like that all you have to do is just come right over here park or land right by the building if you're using a helicopter I suggest landing like right here that way when you can come out, you can just jump right back in it. And all you have to do is just run in this little door right over here. You don't even have to have a gun. Everybody's real cool. 
go through the metal detector. And come down here. Do not go in the stairs. Take the elevator right here. If you run up those stairs, about halfway through them, Lester's going to call you and make fun of you. I know this because I took the stairs the first time. So don't take the stairs. And then all you have to do is go to the top floor. Which is pretty cool because I had never been in here before. I never did the glitch to come inside here or any of that stuff. So this is pretty cool. All you have to do is go over to the little spot, press right on the D-pad, you pull out your phone, and start hacking data. Now once it gets started, you're going to get stars. Once that happens, everyone in the military base is coming for you. So, let's wait for this to download, and then get all the way back out to your helicopter. You have to do some close quarters combat on the stairs. Take out these guys. Alright, so now you can go down. So now all you have to do is get down here, kill all these guys, get down, jump in your helicopter, and then fly to where the other helicopter is. Steal that, and then put it in your facility. This part's pretty easy. If you take the elevator. If you take the stairs, you're going to hate it. There'll be quite a few guys when you come out here, so if you need them, make sure you get your snacks and armor on. Strongly recommend using those. And just keep clearing the path. There's not too many of them right here. But if you dilly-dally, you take too much time, there's going to be a bunch more by the time you get out this door come out, just jump in the helicopter, and then you fly to wherever they got the Akula parked. Mine this time was over at the airport, so I'm just going to park back here on the back of this, land and kill these guys, and then steal that helicopter. Now I thought I was going to have to do a lot more sneaky stuff to try to get this, so I went up with first with the sniper, but there's just a couple of guys and they're just right around, so take him out real easy. I don't even know where that guy just inside the thing disappeared to. He jumped out and it was just like gone. Let me just use the machine gun to take these guys out real quick. Sort of quick. And then all you have to do is steal this helicopter. Now I do not like this helicopter. It does not fly good at all. But it does have a stealth feature which is kind of cool. But the guns on it are kind of weird too. But the, the main part about this helicopter I don't like is the way it flies. It's, I don't know, it just it seems real weird. When you fly this helicopter, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But then all you have to do is deliver this. And once this is delivered, you can start in your paid missions. Where you're going to actually need more than just you to do these. Just land right kind of over it, hit right on the D-pad, and you're good. And that prep is complete. So when you start up your paid missions, you're going to need a couple people, and this is going to break into two teams. So team one has to go steal intel from Elboro Heights. Team two has to go into the city and go to the morgue and do some stuff there, steal some more intel. I didn't get to do that one, so I don't have any footage of that. Sorry about that. But the team I'm on right here, it's pretty simple. You just kill all these bad guys over here at Elboro Heights, and steal this briefcase, take this savage helicopter, and then go pick up the other guys. And that's pretty simple. And there were four of us doing this, and we just ran this on, on easy, just to get through them, just to see what they were about, because later on, I plan on doing this just two players, just to get that max payout. So, it's pretty simple. And then all you have to do is, when you get over here, land, wait for your other guys, the other team to come out, jump in the helicopter, and then everybody flies and delivers the savage. And this one can be a pain in the butt too because of all of the cops. There's just a mass of cops once you come out of this place. And that's it for this part. Get paid. I think we made $26,000 for this one. Uh, we, like I said, we did it on easy, so just to knock it out. Now the second paid mission 
you have to use the DeLoreans. And these are actually pretty cool. I, I might end up buying one of these. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'll show you why I want to later in this video. And I've got machine guns, I've got rockets. That part's okay, don't really care. But for this mission here, what you need to do is there's four targets and everybody has to go after one. So pick your target, and then you get up close to it. And what you're gonna do is you gotta hack it first. So you have to push right on the D-pad and get the phone app up and then you can start hacking it and it works pretty good. You just have to stay relatively back first but as soon as you start shooting you really want to get on the right side. At first I thought I could hide over here on the left and get out of his sight but he's got pinpoint accuracy and he can take you out so you really want to stay over here on this right side to where he can't shoot you. Get the hack and then he almost killed me right there so I had to pull away and then go back after him so I could blow him up. And then after you get these four targets down, you'll have another four set of targets you have to go for. But these are going to be on the water. And for to do that, you're going to have to go into hover mode. And this is why I want to buy this vehicle because this is cool as hell. Now it's hard to drive this vehicle when it's like this because it's real slidey, super slidey. But it's really cool. You'll, you'll enjoy this part. It was a lot of fun. So all you have to do is just get zooping on out. Go right out on the water. Now you can chase down these boats. And this will be the calmest the water out here will ever be, is while you're in this mission, because I have been out on this water a bunch of times and it is never this flat. So enjoy it while you can. But then as you get up close to the boat, you're gonna do the same thing as you did to the box truck. You're gonna pull up your phone, and do a hack. And it's a lot harder to stay closer with this one but it's easier not to get shot if that makes any sense because it's but as soon as you get close enough you can pull up the thing but you have to stay real close because the second you don't get your drift out of distance it'll stop the hack and then after you get the hack you just do the same thing you do with the box truck you just blow it up and now it's a target that's easy. Now everybody has to go to the airport for the final part of this mission, which is super ridiculous. So you got to wait for Lester to give you your final target, and it's a big plane. So everybody's got to go heading towards there, because the first thing you got to do is you have to hack it, and then you've got to destroy it. And you're going to be in the air during this thing, so it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Man, that's a big plane. All right, so what you want to do is you get over here, you want to press X to enter hover mode, and then you pull back on the stick, and it puts you into flying mode. And now you're chasing the plane. You got to stay right next to it so you can get the hack done. And the more people who are close to it, the faster the hack goes. So you really want everybody to be right there instead of just flying around doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And you will have some buzzards that come after you, so somebody will have to go after those. Then, once Lester tells you you got the hack, you can destroy this plane. And that's pretty cool when you get to do that, because everybody just starts shooting rockets and going nuts. So the plane's destroyed, now all you have to do is deliver these back to the drop-off area. And this mission's paid. Now your third paid mission this one's a bit more difficult. This is more like the Humane Labs heist. You have to land on the roof in stealth. If you drop down too low with the helicopter, you'll set off the alarm. It's ridiculous. So land on the roof real quiet like. And then everybody's gonna have to get out, move down to the ground, taking out guys and cameras and stealth. Pretty much just like the Humane Labs heist. And once you get all those guys taken out, There'll be another set of guys you got to take out. They come outside, you get them, you get the key, and then you can go inside where the real fun is going to begin. Once you come downstairs, then you're going to have to start hacking the servers. And you got 15 minutes to do this, and there are a bunch of cops in here. Pretty much every corner you turn, there's going to be somebody shooting at you. 
So you just gotta go down these little center stairs here and then head into the server farm. And then just find the server. It's good that everybody, if everybody in your group picks the same letters to use the whole time, so everybody's always going after the same targets. It's a big help. Then all you have to do is come down here where the guy is. There'll be a guard watching it. Take him out. And then go in here and do this weird hack. Now, I messed up a couple times the first couple times, but you just drag these lines from the left to the right and connect them. Hit triangle to test it to see if you got them right. Boom, it connects. I think I'm disconnecting the Pornhub servers. Look at that sticker on the front. Is that Pornhub? I think it is. Somebody's gonna be upset. And then all you have to do is just run back out now. Now when you get to the top, you're gonna have to fight through an army of cops to get back into your helicopter. So be pre prepared for that, because it's gonna be another great fight. So when you come up to the top, the cops are going to be everywhere, helicopters, three stars, chaos, all kinds of fun. And then you just come out here and take out these guys. And I love it when I start locking onto the helicopter. Isn't that awesome? There's three guys right there in front of me, but I'm going to lock onto a helicopter It's 200 yards away. Love that. But anyway, to get through those guys, you get all the way up onto the roof, jump back in the helicopter. Everybody gets in there and then you can fly off and deliver the Akuma. Kula. You can put it back in stealth mode and you'll lose the cops faster. Now all you have to do to do that is just press right on the D-pad and then take it to Sandy Shores. And like I said, I hate flying this helicopter. I, it's, I don't know what's up with it. It's just whack. It flies weird. It's hard as hell to land. But that's it for that one. So, 26000 for that. Now your final heist. Now your final heist takes you to the radar towers. And it's Pandalarium. When you get here, there's people everywhere. You've got to kill everybody. We didn't start this off very well, as you can tell. So there's people running everywhere. And But once you get all these guys killed, all you have to do is go downstairs into the bunker. And then you're going to kill everyone who's inside there. That's the goal. It's to clear out the entire base. Take out every person who's in here. So you're gonna come down all cool looking and then just start anybody who's in here you kill them take them out and you got to go room for room basically just clearing the entire house out you see them pull the triggers and there's a bunch of them in here too you're gonna take out quite a few people but it's pretty, it's relatively easy. This is actually easier than the mission that you just did, the setup. And this one's gonna be a lot more fun in a few minutes. Get all these guys taken out. This is really the hardest part and the part that takes the longest is just getting to where you've gotten through the whole base. Because there's guys tucked in everywhere. And I recommend using the shotgun for a lot of this, especially when you start getting close quarters. Because there's too many people, too close, and your friends will get in front of you and they'll block your your shots and stuff like that so everybody should be using shotguns or close quarters type machines take out these guys in here now a few of these guys have really good armor and you'll see a perfect example of this in a second and this armor is ridiculous strong there's a bunch of them down here. So you're going to have to pull out something just a little bit stronger, take out these guys down in this area. But basically all you have to do is just go in this room, take out all these guys. If you got somebody with a minigun who's pretty good with it, they can make pretty short work of it pretty fast. That's pretty much it for this. Get all these guys out of here. Now you go back upstairs to the war room that you already cleared out for the coolest part of this mission. Now when I come out of here, these dudes with this armor are ridiculous. Now you know that this is going to be the next thing that Rockstar gives us, is going to be this heavy duty armor. Because they gave us all these weapons. Because they gave us all these more powerful weapons, they're going to give us more powerful armor. That way, 
that everything will go back basically back to reset to zero and you just bought a whole bunch of other stuff that you didn't really need to start with that's what's coming next I guarantee it so then all you have to do is you enter one of these gun cameras and this this was the best part of the entire mission I had a blast doing this this should be its own mini game so all you have to do is just anything that comes near you waste it with this gun the only thing I don't like about this gun is the it moves so fast it's so sensitive by the time you move it, it it's re, oh, it's super sensitive that's all I can say about it. It just moves way too fast. And it's really hard to like focus in on an area. Like I was trying to focus in on this buzzard. I just kept going past it. So keep that in mind when you're using this. But other than that, this was a blast. I had more fun doing this part than pretty much any of the other part of the heist. Because anything that gets in your way, you can just destroy it. That's pretty cool. And then once you kill all these guys... That's it. Heist is over. That was it. Like I said, the setups were way more difficult than the actual heist for this first act. So then when they come out of here, then a whole big huge story mode thing comes on and that's it. So for this heist here, we did it on easy just to knock it out. We split up $650,000 and then each of us got a bonus for doing it for the first time. So we made about $200,000 for the first first act of the heist so it was pretty decent I mean it wasn't really a whole bunch of work so even if you're doing it on easy you're still making some bucks but like I said I plan on doing this as two player trying to get through it so I can make massive bucks on the hardest set all right this is Grey Witch hope this video helps you out I'll see you next time peace